coming to you live and direct. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Good morning, Stylings. Welcome back to another week of ARV News with your hosts, Natasha and Wise. Let's start off on a positive note, or should I say, on the beat. Let's go to TikTok, make your hips rock. So at this started we had no Wi-Fi, but I decided to follow his transition post. Then I decided I must be an Arnie and hope this bridge would lead me to Elsa. Sadly it didn't, it was just people, but then I saw these signs and decided I wanted to see the bears. There were no bears, so I continued to pass the search for more people. I wanted to be Dora, so I decided to explore. Maybe I could reach the end and fight the Ender Dragon? Nah, these boys were drowning, these girls were lost, and this boy was hallucinating. I found this girl that wanted to be a rock, then I became a rock, then I was thrown into this river. Well, let's hope their next hike is out of desert in Mexico because a guy hid a lot of gold in a desert in Mexico. Well, let's go to Ezekiel. He'll tell us more about it. Hello, this is Square with me, Edwin. And me, Ezekiel. Today in the LA Local News, their UCLA has returned, has canceled all in-person lessons. This is because a former philosophy lecturer made threats to the philosophy department and other related subjects. He also posted a video online that referenced a school shooting. The former philosophy researcher <coughs> identified a has been identified as Matthew Harris, who is not in California, but still made the threat to UCLA. <coughs> Matthew also posted an 800-page manifesto dedicated to domestic terrorism, violence, and calling death to America. UCLA spokesperson has confirmed Tuesday morning that the UCLA police have identify the person and put them under observation and that the person is in California. Harris postdoctoral status has expired at the end of expired at the end of June 2021. He also been personally put on leave in UCLA after an investigation saw him have strange interactions with his students and those around him. On to the fun fact. Well some philosopher he was but for today's fun fact, did you guys know that there's around 16 tons of gold hidden in Mexico? You're right. In 1930, a millionaire by the name of Leon Trabuco and his associates hid around 16 tons of gold in the New Mexico desert as an attempt to try to stow it away and waiting for prices in the United States to rise. However, plans were foiled as around this time they passed the Gold Act, which made it illegal to hold private gold storages in any way shape or form this made it so they couldn't sell the precious gold that they had tried so hard to stockpile it's not suspicious at all that following these events him and his associates were all mysteriously killed nobody still knows why but what it is known is that his gold is still out there somewhere just waiting to be discovered who will discover it up to you guys now on the cheese man are you in my bees now <laughs> Quarterback Tom Brady formally announced his retirement from the NFL after 22 seasons. Brady said, it's best I leave the field of play to the next generation of dedicated and committed athletes. Rihanna is expecting her first baby with rapper ASAP Rocky. The couple was photographed out in New York City over the weekend, where Rihanna debuted her baby bump while wearing a long pink jacket. Unfortunately, this year we will not be having softball. However, we will be having a boys and girls baseball team. So go on for tryouts and get a packet with sports. Now, to more sports with Anderson and Jessica. Hello, Stallions. Good morning. Hope you're all doing well. On this sports segment for football, over the weekend, the Bengals versus the Chief, Chiefs played 27-24. The Bengals won. On the other hand, another game that was over the weekend, the 49ers versus the Rams played, and 49ers went up to 17 versus Rams 20. The Rams won.
Is anyone looking forward to the Rams and the Bengals playing Sunday, February 13 at 3.30? Because I am. Go Rams! Now in another sports, uh, talking about soccer, Canada surprisingly wins against the U.S. 2-0 this past weekend in the World Cup qualifiers. Meanwhile, a big upset also in the World Cup qualifiers, Costa Rica takes one point and complicates Mexico's qualification. Last but not least, an intense penalty shootout makes OG's knees go through the next round. Meanwhile, Messi's PSG gets knocked out of the Coupe de France. Breaking news, there was a 3.3 earthquake during fourth period. Many of us didn't feel it, but did you? Now moving on to ARB updates and trivia. Stallion update. We're having a fourth annual Bunch of Love Festival, February 24th, 4 p.m. through 5.30 p.m. We're having games, prizes, music, and crafts. Next is our Student Leadership Conference. It's having financial literacy, college and career counseling, lifestyle re reality check, building professional relationships, organization, and time management. On Saturday, February 12th, please scan the QR code to attend the meeting. Next, we're having advisory COVID testing. On February 2 is green and yellow advisory, and on February 3rd is pink and purple. Welcome to trivia. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Which of Newton's laws states this? The first law of motion, the second law of motion, or the third law of motion? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. The answer is the third law of motion. According to Newton, whenever objects A and B interact with each other, they exert forces upon each other. When you sit in your chair, your body exerts a downward force on the chair and the chair exerts an upward force on your body. There are two forces resulting from this interaction, a force on the chair and a force on your body. These two forces are called action and reaction forces and are the subject of Newton's third law of motion. Go. Thank you for selling it, Elliot. Now let's move on to the weather. On Tuesday, we'll have a partly cloudy day with a high of 63 and a low of 44. On Wednesday, we'll have a sunny day with a high of 67 and a low of 43. On Thursday, we'll have a sunny day with a high of 65 and a low of 44. On Friday, we'll have a sunny day with a high of 68 and a low of 47. And on Saturday, we'll have a sunny day with a high of 68 and a low of 47. Today's fun fact. Cats and dogs have been known to sense when a tornado is coming. Now moving on to shout outs. If you have a shout out, just holler. Shout out to my advisory class, class of 2022. I am so proud of you guys. It's been a tough year for everyone. Take it one day at a time. You are very talented and special. From Ms. Navarro. Hi everyone. My name is Mr. Chue. Many students know me as Mr. C. And I just want to go ahead and give a big shout out to two individuals that come to my mind. First and foremost, that would be Don Juan Mejia. I just want to shout you out, man, because you're constantly uh, showing us you know, what you're capable of. You're constantly showing us your determination. Um, second student would be Caleb Garcia, specifically the debate you had in Ms. Landon's class. It was really, really great seeing you uh, come out and debate the point that you wanted to make and uh, give across to the public. So I just want to shout, you out, shout out both of you and let you know that you're doing great work to keep it up and that we're literally a couple months away from your graduation. So please just keep it up and I'm really looking forward to seeing you graduate. If you want to give your teachers or students a shout out, send it to the following email, bunchynews2022 at gmail.com. Now moving on to get to know your staff who keeps you on the right path, period. <laughs> All right, hello everyone. My name is Mr. Velasquez and I am a school counseling intern at ARB. How long have you been working here at ARB? I've only been working at ARB for two weeks so far. How do you think your coworkers would describe you as? I think they would describe me as 
someone who's very quiet and reserved. What was your childhood dream to work as? My childhood dream was to become a professional sports athlete, specifically basketball or football. What are your hobbies and how did you get them? My ho- one of my hobbies is playing video games and another one is watching sports. Video games, I gained it by you know, playing and working to buy my video game systems. And sports, I gained it by playing and starting in middle school. I started playing all the sports I could. Do you have any fun facts about you? Can you repeat that? Do you have any fun facts about you? Um, yeah, one fact, fun fact about me is that I love animals. I have two dogs and four cats right now. Do you have any advice for high schoolers? Yeah, my biggest advice for high schoolers is um, definitely explore your identity figure out who you really are because that definitely plays a role as you move on after graduation. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for watching. Adios.